Hi, this is Jim Henderson with Innovative Integration, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about our digital receiver and digital transceiver products, which combine our XMC modules, our embedded PCs, custom firmware and software, in order to address wireless radio and communications applications. The unit shown here is our model V615, which combines the X6400M XMC module. One or two of those modules are installed here and here. And these XMC modules each contain an FPGA into which custom digital downconvert and digital upconvert firmware has been loaded. Additionally, the V615, which is built atop our EPC Duo embedded PC, adds a quad-core i7 with four MSATA SSD drives, a couple of 10 gigabit Ethernet ports, a 1 gigabit Ethernet port. Each of the four QSFPs shown here allow access to the J16 exposed SERTIs, the eight SERTIs on each of these XMC modules, so that you have a full-fledged solution for the implementation of software radio applications. In this case, the GPDSP software, which is running in the i7s, works in conjunction with the GPDSP firmware installed into the FPGA in order to implement downconvert and upconvert functionality. Typically, additional functionality would be added in the form of perhaps a Red Hawk or GNU radio running in the i7, which is the host processor in this embedded PC or you can have customized application software as we do within the GPDSP to implement additional radio functionality such as DMOD, decode, data logging, data playback, that sort of thing. We have a variety of different configurations of the digital receiver and digital transceiver products. This particular one has four DDC channels per A to D, each of which has a nominal bandwidth from 10 kilohertz to around 80 to 100 megahertz. But other configurations and other XMC modules are available in order to cover much wider instantaneous bandwidths, such as our XXGSPS, which supports from 10 kilohertz all the way up to 750 megahertz of instantaneous bandwidth. So it's possible to mix and match these XMC modules if you have a variety of different receiver architectures you wish to implement, but it's more common for people to combine a couple of like modules in order to expand the channel count. And in this case, you're able to handle things like 16, 32, even up to 128 channels by combining the right mix of XMC modules into the EPC. Now we have other configurations of embedded PCs atop which we build uh, digital receivers as well. We have various ruggedized modules such as the EPC K7 and Mini K7, which are conduction cooled variants. This particular variant, the V series, is convection cooled. And some customers have removed it from this chassis and bolted into another chassis in order to create a conductive cooled solution out of it. But it's much more common to pick a V-series when convection cooling is acceptable and a EPC K7 or Mini K7 if conduction cooled and full ruggedization is required. Well, I hope this video has been of value for you and you've learned a bit about our SDR technologies, our down and up convert firmware and software. And uh, if any remaining questions exist, that you'll visit the website at innovative-dsp.com to register on the MyII portal, download data sheets, and obtain web pricing. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.